Welcome back to the Realist Channel on YouTube and we're here again for another reaction. This I actually didn't know about. Christian, my editor, sent this over and said it's something that might interest me and I might have an interesting reaction to Keemstar and Fuzi launching their own promotions. What's it called? Happy Punch and I didn't look into it at all. I've been sent the clip and Christian knows me. This must be entertaining. Let's jump into it. Let's not even waste no time. This is our fighter and now he's fighting. Yeah. You ain't your heart's not beating? No, 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 no. My guy's winning. This kid right over here trying to troll me. He's like, what if your guy goes down? I'm like, Tch. This is as predictable as your fake fight or fake videos. I'm like, no, we're winning. <laughs> this is gonna be good. Hey, we got a big one today. As he said, we got our. This was supposed to be the main event. The fighter just signed a happy punch promotion. Dean the Great. Yes, sir. Going up against one of the most infamous OGs on YouTube, Deshaun Ross. Super hot fire. Give it up. Wait, one second, one second. So, I don't know if I'm missing something here. I don't know if I'm missing the concept. But if I'm correct, I can see two guys in the dark, pretty much. The only thing that's lighting up <laughs> this arena on the street, on the concrete, are flashlights from phones. Um, but I can't, I, yeah. Okay, that's all. I, that's the first thing I've got to say. Let's see what um, Keemstar's saying. All right, you boys ready? For the thousands of attendants and the millions watching around the world. Okay, so they've got like a yellow. Okay, okay, so they've got like. This is just reminding me, rest in peace, is so Kimbo Slice. But it's not even the same as Kimbo because Kimbo was doing it bare knuckle. But it's like trying to bring back a more, I guess, doctored version of what Kimbo was doing. We've got a makeshift ring here, little cone there, um, a little tape as well. Everyone's flashlights are on. The sun is going down for the main event. <laughs> and we've got two guys, they got gloves on, no headgear mouthpiece and we got the original wwe ref outfit so let's just see how this actually goes let's go baby let's go dean okay. you hit him with the whack whack <laughs> okay so these these look like guys that have box before from the from the jump i'm not saying that they're elite and they're experts but they have put gloves on before and had to dodge a punch and return a punch because their stance the way they're moving quite nippy normally these guys as they tire become uh start to look novicey but they're sharp fresh guys like let me see if i'm right but right now it's, it's a good guy it's not complete novice boxing um they've fought before they've done some sort of something before Jab. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Quick shots from, from Dean the Great. So, ooh, nice jab. He's coming with the whack, whack. Ooh. So he's picking it, see? See, look, 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 look. Come on, man. There's something. They've done something before. Christian, thumbs up, everyone. He found the right thing for me. Perfect. Yeah, this is good. I like that little step there with the front foot and then he stepped back. Look, I even got it on the freeze frame, 124. That is that is my type of thing. That's why you just playing with people, changing direction, playing with people. Lead foot. Look, look, he thought he was going that way. Boom. Step made my man step. But right, you got a hit though. Ah man. He got hit though, man. When you do those moves, you can't get hit. It has to be a little, do you know what I mean? It has to be a finesse out the way. You don't want to get hit when you're doing fancy moves like that. Because then it's not fancy no more. It just looks stupid. But I like the move, innit? If you didn't get banged. Yeah. Wow. Good shot from Dean the Great, though, um, to, to find him and, and land that shot. Now this guy's going on the laps. Ooh, he started with the attack low, came up high. He's trying to work it. Ooh, nice duck. He's trying to work. Ooh, he's up the pace now. Dean Great's up the pace now. He's not letting him hold. He's working in close. He's not letting the showboating go. Nice jab to the body. The guy got no oh, and it's a clinching thing. Ooh, nah, he's on him. He's on him. He's on him. Ooh, he's on him. 
I don't know if I need to do some research or if someone can enlighten me in the comments or however, get hold of me and talk to me and make things come to my attention. Because you guys can do that because there's a lot of things you guys say that come to my attention. What is the essence and what is the business model behind happy punch promotions? Who can do happy punch promotions? How experienced do you have to be? You know, what are the rules, the health and safety guidelines, anything? It's entertaining, of course, but I just don't know where they plan on, on taking this thing. Let's continue 204 into the clip. Five, four, three, two, one. Oh, couple after the mill. End of round one, no? Yeah, don't unanswer me, nobody. Nobody. This is not true, bro. What are you talking about? Second half of that round. Yeah, he's not the guy. That's Brad School there. He likes the street fights, we know. Okay, we're we'll back out round two now. Ooh, he's come out with a few good jabs. But he's too he's too into this showboating thing, man. Like after he land two ranks, he's moving like Tyron. Land a good hit, boom. Showboating. Come on, come on. Like, the guy has to be on his on his literally looking like he's gonna be on his last legs for you to showboat after a hit. Follow up. When the damage has been done, the showboating begins. But if I know you're not damaged like that, you can't really showboat too much. You may be trying to throw the guy off his game and whatnot, but at the same time, if the fight is not going your way or it's level and you land something clean, it's not the time to showboat. Blue gloves here. He's not been the one on smoke, especially towards the end of the last round. So you can't land two jabs this round and then go, nah, man, no, you have to simmer, simmer, let it be, land some dirty ones. Let's see. Oh, that was a nice quick shot. Oh, and then he's going for the clinch again. Oh, he's catching him now. Oh, he's catching him now. Oh. There's a lot of holding is going on. As I said, when these guys fatigue, that's when you start to see the novice tendencies. I believe that when people are fresh and they can do things, and once their cardio starts to give out and becomes a uh, point of focus, I'm breathing. I'm tired. Oh, that punch, if I miss, I'm gonna be more tired. That's when we start to see a lot of clinching. That's when we start to see a lot of poor technique in novice fighters. And you can see now Venom, Blue Gloves, uh, is tired and he's claiming his man. Whereas Dean the Great's trying to let these punches go. Super hot, that's his name, or super hot fire. Glasses, jacket, shirt. Call me glasses, jacket, and shirt man. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Call him that. Mm -hmm. I'll call me super hot boy, 100 degrees leather jacket, cause I'm super hot boy. Oh! Oh! Let's go. You good for three? John, you gotta pay another? Nah. He's a quitter! Oh, he said that he's not gonna do another one. He had a 9%. I hit him with the power shot. I won! I won! I won. Look at the cop to box! I won! I hit the... <laughs> this guy's a troll, but he, he, he's funny. He he fought though. There's Bear Man standing there, and he is the one that was fighting. So I guess he he can talk trash a little bit, but not to say that he won. Come on. But you know what that reminded me of? That reminded me of Logan and um, Floyd in a way. Um, yeah, it's not outdoors. It's not lit up by cameras. But I mean, in terms of one guy getting to the point where he's like, I'm staying in here. You're not going to finish me. So don't think you're getting rid of me. Whether that means I'm holding, whether that means I'm running, whether that means whatever. I'm seeing this out to the end. And then he done that. So when he was offered another round, it's like, bro, like, nah. You would have my jab. Are you serious, man? Talk to my man. Are you serious? Man said I run around with my jabs. He listen. If he jabbed more, he actually could have won. Oh, he's walked off. Oh, he walked off. Okay. He could have won if he did use his jab more, because he actually has. A quick, quick snappy jab, but he was too busy making noises and showboating. But yeah, I don't know what Keemstar and um, Fuzi are up to, 
but they like the fighting thing clearly and they're trying to and they're finding a way to be involved so i respect it but hopefully this is there's an ambulance nearby people's safety is you know being considered here because they're throwing with intent they're not sparring like that they're throwing with intent someone could get hurt so keemstar Fuzi, make sure you're looking after the people then please um even though it's for our entertainment make sure their manner are good and hopefully that is the case it's the realest make sure you check your subscription feed all the time if you're not checking your subscription feed then your notification bell should be on anyway so you can check when i'm uploading and then if i'm having a banger then i might pop up on the home screen and all the work is done for you but either way stay in tune with what i'm doing and yeah i'm gonna change up the content soon don't really want to talk about all the same things anymore because i genuinely in my heart don't really care about it like that this was actually nice christian shout out I, I can do these ones all day i like these but i mean talking about the whole youtube boxing thing and all that like i care for my own personal thing but like to keep talking about it, not per se, um, but I will when it comes to me naturally and I, not because I feel like I'm obliged to, you know what I'm saying? But respect and love to the people. Check the other channels, Rolling Cheeky, Ruin Wheels. They are there for you. Living Sports Clothing coming soon. Everything is coming soon. Just enjoy the quiet time because once it's busy, it's going to be busy. And once I'm in your face, I'm going to be in your face. And then you lot are going to be wishing that I wasn't anymore. So it's the end of the video. If you don't know what I do at the end of videos, 